Working on this brand new Z4 M40i gave me the idea to do a video for you showing you the safest pads for surfaces such as these, modern day clear coats. More and more waterborne, they're thinner, they're softer. You want to remove less when correcting them and you want to keep them cool while correcting them. We have four pads here, five pads. And I want you to guess right now which pad is going to run the coolest and be the safest for this surface out of all of these. Wool, we have a waffle pad, we have a dimpled pad, we have a flat foam pad, and we, ha we have a microfiber pad. Let's start with microfiber. Let me show you the temperature of the panel as it is. We're right under the air conditioner. We like to keep it cool here in the shop to dry out coatings and films so they can cure. So the panel, we want to keep the, the correction temperature of the area we're working in within 20 degrees of the ambient temperature of the rest of the panel, if that makes sense. So we don't want temperatures to spike. Why? There's three layers that consist of your paintwork on your car. Primer, coat, color coat, and a clear coat. And they're all different materials, so they all will expand, contract in different ways when they're heated up. And it is a lot of stress on those materials if you spike heat in one little area on a panel that is room temperature. I'm going to run the polisher back and forth, left, then right, then left. We're going to do three passes. That's equal to three passes. On the final return pass, I'm going to grab the camera and a uh, temperature recording uh, instrument that I have here, and I'll show you how these pads, each one of them, can spike the temperature in the area you're working on individually. The microfiber pad here, you can see we're exceeding 120, 130 uh, at the highest. So that is 30, 40, 50 degrees higher than the rest of uh, the temperature, the ambient temperature of the rest of the panel. And that's just way too high. Uh, I can still feel it warm seconds after I lay the polisher down. Are we effective? Yeah, of course. It's doing a lot of work. It's removing some clear coat, but that cutting and uh, combined with the temperature spike is not a very healthy thing for clear coat. Now we're going to switch pads, swap over from the microfiber cut to the flat foam uh, pad. Now, keep in mind, some of these pads can be open cell or closed cell. Open cell, you're going to have a little bit more airflow, uh, so that'll keep the temperatures down even more. That helps. The closed uh, cell keeps your product pushed to the surface, which is great, but then you're going to have um, a little bit higher temperature spiking in the area that you're working. In. So, let me do the exact same pattern. We, we're going to have the polisher uh, at the same speed. We're going to have the correction speed, moving the polisher back and forth, exactly the same, uh, an inch every second or two, and pressure will be exactly the same as well. This time around with the foam pad, temperatures still spiking higher than you would want uh, in an area when the rest of the panel is, what, 70 degrees, 69 degrees? So yeah, effective and uh, does a great job, removes clear coat quickly, but you really need to watch what you're doing Maybe not do as many passes in one area. Stop, take a break, wipe off the residue, give it a chance to cool down, and then get back at it. Yes, very effective, as you can see here. But you want to keep the temperature down and just be aware of that. It's just something that I want you to uh, open your eyes to. So let's swap out pads from a flat foam pad. This is a dimpled pad. So the dimples will allow some of the correction fluid to stick in there and be released as needed as you move the polisher back and forth. But the more important thing is air uh, flow through the pad as you're correcting um, and also less surface area of the pad touching the surface will automatically uh, run that temperature a little bit cooler in the area. So let me show you here.
So with the dimple pad, and I really enjoy these pads, we're still getting above, we're, we're in triple digits yet. And I'd like to be a little bit lower than that. So maybe instead of three passes, do two passes, or maybe even one pass, depending on the pressure. But I always recommend not having the polisher screaming at the highest speed setting. That's going to spike temperatures. Let me wipe off the residue and show you this pad, very effective as well. And we're getting closer to the temperature I would like uh, to be when you're correcting in those areas. We only have a few pads left, so I, maybe you can guess now which one it's going to be. Let's switch pads yet again from the dimpled pad to the waffle pad. Now the waffle pad makes even less contact with the surface while you're correcting and holds even more of the correction fluid within the pockets or the valleys of that pad. Take the pad off of the polisher and lay it face down just as it is on the surface and then take a close look. Get down uh, within uh, the same level as the panel and take a look and see all of those air pockets within and that's airflow keeping the temperature cooler. Uh, you may need to be a little bit more patient while correcting because yes a little bit less of the pad is making contact to the surface. But uh, I'm going to grab the thermometer here in a few seconds and I'm going to show you this pad here runs even cooler. With this pad, for the most part, we're keeping it under 100 in certain areas, and I'm moving the polisher really slow here. Uh, you're, you're getting into the triple digits, but for the most part, it's in the 90s, the high 90s. That's better yet. And this pad, if teamed up correctly with the, the right combo, with the right correction fluid, is just as effective as the previous pads. Okay, finally, wool. And let's attach that wool pad to the big bad rotary. This is going to be disastrous, right? Spiking temperatures, removing way too much clear coat. Uh, so let me give you a measurement here where we're starting. 70 degrees. And we'll load up the pad. We'll do the exact same uh, pattern, speed, and pressure, the other polisher and pads, and I'll show you. So as you can see here, wool running 15 degrees cooler than the pad next to it, 20, 30 degrees cooler than the other pads. So they do make wool that has different aggression, real harsh cutting, cutting, medium, and, and finish. So I just wanted you to be aware of that, uh, be conscious of it, and when you can, use the pads that run cooler be a little bit more patient with them, and uh, give that clear coat, especially modern clear coat that's steering away from solvent-based and moving towards, well, basically we're moving more and more to waterborne clear. So the coolest running pad is wool, and then next to that is the waffle pad, and then the dimpled pad, and the flat foam pads, and don't forget there's open and sell uh, foam pads, and then the microfiber ran the hottest. Uh, so I hope that helps. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.